Hello and welcome guys, I'm really happy to be back, really happy to finally appear on the camera, to finally talk to you guys and with this opportunity, with this occasion, I wanted to thank you because we reached 5,000 people, we reached 5k in this YouTube family and I'm really happy, really excited to see that number on. So why am I here? Why did I show up in front of the camera? It's because I wanted to talk to you. I wanted to share some news with you. So this video is about a milestone in my life, although it's not as much about the 5k that we reached on YouTube, but I'm still very happy, very excited that we are 5k, that we are a big family and we're growing even bigger and bigger. But this video is about uh, a life experience, a story that I want to tell to you. Maybe this is going to encourage some of you. Maybe it's going to motivate some of you. Maybe it's going to teach you a couple of lessons which I have learned. And in this video, I wanted to share my journey of seven months of being independent, of doing YouTube full time, of trying to do my own thing, of taking a break from companies, from work, from corporations and all that stuff. So first of all, how it all started. It started with a stupid idea that came into my mind. Uh, something like, let's quit jobs. Let's see if maybe I can take a small pause from corporations, from work, from companies. Because at the time I was a little bit burnt out and I didn't feel like working and I was very unproductive. I was very unsatisfied with what I'm doing. I wasn't getting pleasure from that. And sometimes in your career, sometimes you get that kind of burn. You somehow get sick of what you're doing. You're bored of what you're doing and you're just not that hungry anymore. So I never really took pauses in between jobs. I always jumped from job to job and that kind of gave me a burn in the long run. As I realized, I started to lose interest. I started to not be that hungry. So the plan was stupid. I knew it was never gonna work and I did not expect it to last this long. I expected it to last about six months. That was my plan. At that point, I never thought YouTube is going to, you know, pay my bills or even Patreon because along the way I started doing Patreon. And even though I started doing all these, even though I took this decision, I still knew, I still realized this was never a plan that's going to last forever. It was never a plan that was gonna pay my bills, that was gonna help me, uh, you know, survive. <laughs> so the first thing I did, of course, is to push up the game a a little bit because now I had more time which means I can push out more videos on YouTube. And that's exactly what I did. I started with Q&A and all that stuff. I started doing this concurrent single course. And along the way, I also started to do Patreon, which was a nice addition to, uh, you know, this whole bundle because it gave me a little bit of support. And with this occasion, I wanna thank all my patrons. I wanna thank all my current patrons and my previous patrons. Thank you for your support, guys. Thank you for believing in this. It was such an encouragement at the time and it's still an encouragement at the moment. So. Finally, after about six months, which was that period that I calculated, I started to feel a little bit of trouble, a little bit of struggle because, you know, the money was ending and uh, obviously I did not have sources of income. The only source of income was YouTube, which paid me like 30 bucks a month and Patreon, which was like, and still is about 100 bucks a month. So you can't really say I was, you know, getting an income and you can't really say this was enough to pay my bills. Although the country I'm living in is quite cheap to live. It's still not enough to pay the bills. And I knew this day was gonna come. I knew uh, there was gonna be a day when I'm gonna start running out of money, when <laughs> I'll have to you know, go borrow money from someone because uh, in the meantime, I needed to find the job. In the meantime, I needed to go for the interviews. I needed to find out companies and also my mind, my mindset kind of changed along the way. I started to see things differently. I started to, you know, uh, feel the taste of being free, feel the taste of, you know, not having to report anything to anyone. And maybe that's dangerous. I don't know. Like, uh, for, for some reason, a lot of companies rejected me and yeah, I was going for the interview process. A lot of companies rejected me and I did not understand why. So in the last two months, I started taking a lot of interviews. I had like, I think 20 interviews or so. I had a lot of interviews, uh, been interviewed by a lot of companies. Uh, a lot of companies were not serious about it. A lot of companies rejected me for no reason, like giving me stupid feedback, which literally meant nothing. Uh, there were some companies who, uh, well, accepted me. We went for the interview and we wasted a lot of time. And in the end, nothing happened. In the end, they still went with an answer like, uh, we're looking for somebody who is more stable, for somebody who's this and that, and your development philosophy doesn't match with ours. And a bunch of reasons that, you know, uh, we're not very objective, we're not very technical. And I felt very upset. I felt very, you know, discouraged. I even tweeted a lot that time. I even wrote some uh, posts on YouTube. 
And yeah, that was a period when I was really discouraged and I felt like it's way harder to get back in the game. It's way harder than, you know, back then when I was just, you know, jumping from job to job. And yeah, the thing that I learned about, or the thing that I learned from this uh, type of experience is you have to, uh, you know, keep your head up and uh, even though you get rejected, you still have to try because uh, the best is yet to come. Uh, the best or uh, what's yours is yet to come. And that's exactly what happened. I got the job. This is not a sponsored video, but I recently started working for Arden Labs. I love the guys from Arden Labs. Really hyped, really excited to work for them. Really proud to be back in the game, to be with one of the best professionals, one of the kindest people as well. And I don't know, I feel like I'm hungry again. I feel like I want to, you know, eat software engineering again. I feel like I got that hunger again, you know, the hunger from university, from being a student, from wanting to do it all. And uh, what I learned from this experience is it's very important to take a small pause between jobs. If you jump from job to job, eventually you will run out of fuel, eventually you will burn out and you will need some, uh, some time to heal. And that was the time that I needed. I needed seven months to, uh, you know, uh, do a little bit of YouTube, to uh, kind of, you know, put my mind together and, you know, figure out a plan for future uh, to maintain this long game because it's a long-term game. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. And also eventually get back to working because uh, this plan was never a plan. This was just an experiment which I threw in the air. It worked for six months. We held up to seven months, but eventually it was gonna fail and it did. So uh, I'm glad it failed. I'm glad I'm back in the business. Really hyped, really excited. And yeah, I am full of life. I am uh, full of energy. I'm ready to work. I'm ready to push content on YouTube and not only on YouTube. All right, fellas. So now that I shared my story with you, you might ask yourself what's going to happen to YouTube? What's going to happen to everything that we do here on this channel? And the answer is very simple. Nothing will happen to it. Yes, I got some good news. Yes, I'm back in the business. And by that, I mean, I got a job. Everything is stable now. But YouTube is not going anywhere. You know, I'm a workhorse. You know, I'm going to put all the extra time that I have after work into YouTube and not only. And now when it comes to Patreon, you could still contribute to this project. You could still contribute to this journey and don't forget I have that premium package which delivers t-shirts mugs and a bunch of other things you might as well just check that out but that's not the point the point is you could still contribute if you want to if you feel like so if you feel like this is valuable and you can want to contribute to this you could go ahead open up that patreon page and you could still do that and with this opportunity I want to thank all my patrons I want to thank all the people that have been with me that have helped me along this way that have been alongside while I was in this journey I really am thankful to all of you guys. Really thank you for all the contribution and really thank you for inspiring me to continue to do this. The biggest lesson that I've learned in this journey of mine was you should never be afraid of trying. Even if it's not going to work, it's going to teach you a lot of things along the way. And that's exactly what it did in my case. It taught me a lot of things along the way. It taught me things about being independent, about how to spend money, about how to save money, about what to do with your time, about how to be even more disciplined. And all this stuff is hard to learn while you're in the game, while you're in this you know, vicious cycle, when you never take a small pause, you never really take a small time to meditate to, you know, maybe think about your life, maybe think about the decisions you want to take, you know, the changes you want to take. And, and this helped me a lot. I, I got to say this journey uh, taught me a lot of things along the way. Maybe I don't have that many accomplishments. Many, maybe I have not done so many things but it made me realize a lot of things. So this was pretty much it on my journey. This was pretty much it on my milestone. And yeah, make sure to share in the comments below if you guys had moments like this, when you took a small pause, when you took a pause in general uh, between jobs. I'd love to know about this. So make sure to share that in the comments below. And of course, if you're not part of this community already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also click the bell to not miss any videos. And speaking of community, make sure to head over to any video and click uh, the Discord link to join the Discord community where you can be part of an even more vibrant community where you can interact with real people, people which are also part of the same community. All right, fellas, I won't waste much more of your time because time is money and time is expensive. So I hope you all guys are well, you're doing well, you have a productive week ahead and I'll see you in another video where we talk some ghost stuff. Peace.